Hey, Brad Lancaster here, author of the books Rainwater Harvesting for Dry Lands and Beyond. And I want to show you how big a difference just the color of the exterior walls of your house or other building can make in either heating you up even more or cooling you down in hot weather. So right now it's 102 degrees on a summer day in Tucson, Arizona, about 5 p.m. And we're going to look at the temperature of west-facing walls. So the, the west sun is in my face right now. It's right behind me, okay? And I'm going to compare the temperature difference between this uh, brown wall to that of this white wall. Okay, let's change perspective and see the difference. Okay, the temperature of the brown wall in full sun is 151 degrees. Yikes! The temperature of the white wall in full sun, 124 degrees. Okay, let's look at the temperature of the west facing wall of this house that is shaded both by this native food bearing desert ironwood tree and a front porch. So, come into the shade of the ironwood tree and temperature is a 104, 105 degrees in the diffuse shade of the tree. Then we get on to the under the porch roof here and 104, 105 degrees as well. Shade is best. Protect you from that hot afternoon sun. So for more free passive strategies on how to cool yourself in the hot months and warm yourself in the cold months, be sure to check out my books Rainwater Harvesting for Dry Lands and Beyond, available at deep discount, direct from me at my website, harvestingrainwater.com. And thanks so much for watching. Oh, and also be sure to check out how you can do some passive cooling strategies on the neighborhood scale um, by freely irrigating neighborhood food bearing shade trees, uh, irrigated with just rainwater and street runoff. Um, by checking out the website neighborhoodforesters.org. All right, thanks so much for watching.